search bar. That's not what it's called. Why can't I remember what words? Yes, well, tell me if it doesn't count. I'll find another book. Hey, okay, hello team. My name's Nick. Welcome back to the cauldron. And today we are going to do the black book challenge. <music> didn't know this is book which reviews my channel and the black book challenge was originated on bowtie and books the wonderful jesse's a channel which is like a scavenger hunt on your shelves for 19 prompts that feature black narratives and because i in the last couple of years have purposely been searching out more uh black fiction and more black voices so that i can fill my shelves with narratives that are different than my own i jumped at doing this thing no one has tagged me i just wanted to do it because that is who i am and i like challenge videos i haven't done a whole lot actually in a while i watched a couple of these videos a couple of weeks ago might have been a week ago you know time is hard for me but i will try my very best to fill out all of them and then if i cannot fill out all of these prompts then obviously i need to look for some more books and get that done because reading by black authors is not just for black history month so the problem with this challenge is the fact that these are my four main shelves that you can roughly see you can it goes up and it goes down but I also have my TBR shelves in the living room and my TBR cart in the bedroom. So I may have to run in and out of this room, but we'll see how it goes. And um, I believe a couple of people have done this timed. We'll see if I can figure out how to do that. I don't think I've ever done a timed challenge before, but we can do our very best. And then let's look at some books that definitely hold my heart closely, dearly preciously i will obviously leave links to uh, jesse's original video down below so that you can check it out i will also leave the prompts in the bio below so that you can try it out yourself everyone is tagged do it if you want to make sure that we can all make sure make sure make sure make sure that we all have diversified shelves let's go so as i mentioned there are 19 prompts here i have it written down on a little thing and then because i obviously film on my phone this is my stopwatch so let us go start okay so the first prompt is a book that has won awards and accolades and i'm pretty sure everyone may have chosen this one but it is one that i definitely know is this way and it is the Broken Earth Trilogy by N.K. Jemisin, where each book have won the Hugo Nebula Award, which is wowed. This is such a great book. I will not speak more of it. Let's move on to the next prompt. Okay, next prompt is a book with a disabled or neurodiverse uh, character. And I got... Uh, 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 uh. Here we go. This is A Song of Raps and Ruin by Rosanne E. Brown. One of our main characters has anxiety and one of them, I believe, has panic attacks. So, neurodivergent. Yes. Next prompt is author with a first name beginning with M, R, or Z. M, R, or Z. Z. No, M, R. Ooh, ah. We got Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhoss, which is absolutely stunning. I'm pretty sure Rebecca, yeah, she's black and indigenous, so this, this counts. Well, at least I think it counts. Jesse, tell me if it doesn't count. I'll find another book. Number four is not set in the US or the UK. Um, can I reach this? Come here, that. I can't reach. <laughs> e. Ha ha ha. We have My Sister the Serial Killer by in Onyika Brefwaite and this is set in Nigeria. Du, 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 du. Yeah, Nigeria. Five featuring a queer central romance. I have many, many, many of those. Bear with, bear with, bear with, bear with. Okay, well I won't say many, but I do have some. So we have This Is The Space Between by Micaiah Johnson, which is a almost sci-fi multi-universe thing. So good, beautiful, queer romance in the middle. I love it very much. Six, a deceased author. I don't know if I can fill that one. I don't know. 
I, d I don't think I can do that one. I don't. Who's dead? Who's dead that I would have? Fail, Monique. Seven, a book classified by several genres. Beep, 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 Oh, okay. Uh, the Deep by River Solomon, which is both fantastical and speculative, possibly, maybe. I don't know my genre as well enough to do this game, apparently. Eight, a debut novel. Ooh, wait. Where are you, my little love? Dun, 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 dun. Is this not easy? We have Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Barron, which is a queer retelling of Cinderella. <laughs> and it's also their debut novel. They have a new one coming out and I'm very excited about it. A sequel. A sequel. A sequel. Oh, I don't know. I'm leaving the room. Got the second book in the uh, Broken Earth trilogy. This is the Obelisk Gate because the other sequels I don't have them yet. Uh, ten Afro Afro futurism or speculative fiction. What is speculative fiction again? Um, mm, oh, okay. Um, remote Control by Nnedi Okafor. Is it Nnedi Okafor? I feel like it is. Basically, this one has a young girl who is basically adopted by Death, but Death is like an actual person of some way, not just a construct, I think. Is that speculative? I don't know. I need to look these things up. A book that has received an adaption. Um, 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 I think it is going to get an adaption. This is Children of Blood and Bone by Todi by Tomi Adiemi, which I believe is currently being adapted or possibly has just been like. They've, they've paid for the rights to adapt it. Uh, 12. Short story collection. I don't have a lot of those. I do. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, a Phoenix First Must Burn, edited by Patrice Cadwell, which is a black girl magic written by female and a gender non-binary uh, black authors. This one is very cute. There's a couple of these that I really love. 13, a book told in verse. Where are you? Dun, 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 dun. Book, book, book. Where have you gone? My little, little child. The Black Flamingo by Dean Atta, which is a told in verse. This is super cute. I read this in like less than an hour. It also has illustrations. This is following a young um, biracial black uh, kid who is finding out that he might want to be a drag queen. Very cute. Uh, 14 trans, trans or non-binary character. I know that I have the ebook All Boys Aren't Blue by Is it Michael Johnson? I feel like that's not what it is. Possibly. That might be it other than No, I have other books with non-binary characters, but I don't know if they're written by black authors. Mm. No, so we're saying that one. Guess I gotta get better about that. Part number 15 is literary, contemporary or non-fiction centering a fat individual. 
I know I have the ebook of uh, Get Alive Chloe Brown, which features a black and disabled uh, main character, but do I have another one? I don't know if they're explicitly fat though. Like if it says in the book that they're plus size. Guess we're, guess we're going with that. Some some ebooks. I don't know. Am I, I feel like I'm sneaking around the, the prompts. I will do better. 16, a book about Black Lives Matter or Black, li Black Liberation. I think I have a non-fiction one about that. I don't read too much. Real. And this is Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race by Rennie Edo-Lodge. I feel like that's not the way you say that name but this is a non-fiction book about racism 17 a silly cookie shy or nerdy protagonist uh, 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 ooh, ooh. i'm ruining my shelves for this we have the good luck girls by charlotte nicole davis that features a, a couple of sisters one of them is very quiet and like very reserved this was a really good book it's like weirdly western but also magical it has demons and stuff it also it has a sequel coming out i'm very excited 18 a work of non-fiction there we have becoming by michelle obama which is her biography 19 an author with a new book releasing soon i've said a couple of these i've used a couple of these already um uh, um uh, there we have this is an arc of witches steeped in gold by sian and smart which is a jamaican inspired fantasy which comes out on the 20th of april does that sort of count we also ooh, um where is she we have leah johnson who wrote you should see me in a crown she has a new book coming out called um on the rise which is like a sophomore book i absolutely adored this one uh, I believe the sequel to Ray Bearer by Jordan Ifikyo is also coming out. These are quite a few that are on like my TBR. I have read You Should See Me in a Crown. But yeah, this sequel also comes out later this year. And I have a couple of these ones that should have sequels coming out. I know uh, Good Luck Girls has a sequel coming out. I can't remember what it's called, but that should be out later this yeah i think that's it those are the 19 prompts let's see time wise stop okay um 15 minutes and six seconds <laughs> um yeah 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 yes yes there are a couple of these that took me longer than others to figure out. If you've been here a while, you know that I mainly read fantasy. So that is obviously what is mainly on my shelves. I also have uh, Kingdom of Souls, which I know its sequel, Reaper of Souls, just came out. It's chilling up here. You can't see it. This is an art version. I'm just ruining my shelves now. That one, we have uh, P. Delgy Clark's The black guards drum oh that would have been good for the speculative fiction one because this is set in like an alternative new orleans which i really enjoyed i definitely want to read more by this author as well oh we have the court of miracles which is like a why a retelling of le miserable so i do have i do have more books I just don't like i need to find more books that features uh, fat individuals definitely and i am always on the hunt for books that feature trans or non-binary characters as well i do have a couple of those that but they're just not written by black people but i'm searching i'm doing i'm trying trying my best and now my um my shelves look like a mess and i literally just fixed them so good job on that monique but yeah this was good fun this was like it's a good i think it's a good 
exercise yeah i think it's a good exercise to do to make sure that you read broadly and that you pick up books from people who look at the world differently to you and obviously i don't just want to read books about black suffering i want to read books about black joy and especially black girl magic i want all of the girls that just like kick shit oh oh okay a particular one that i could have also talked about in the like that features a queer romance is The Unbroken by C.L. Clark, which comes out on the 23rd of March. It is my favorite book of the year so far. It is a military fantasy and it has a sapphic relationship at its core. It's about conquerors and military and what you're willing to give up for people. And it's so good and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. But yeah, that's it. That's, that's the challenge-y thing. Now I just have to to edit this i don't know how i'm gonna edit this and keep the the ticking clock thingy at the same time but please do check out jesse below they are absolutely wonderful give them some love and if you want to do this prompt uh, then let me know in the comments that you've done it and then we can like support do the thing and then i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to hit that thumbs up button hit subscribe button at the same time so you don't miss out on any other videos from me you can also click the little bell which will give you a notification when i put up a new video which i do regularly but that is it for me today guys i hope you're having a wonderful day remember that i am very proud of you you are doing great and i'll see you next time bye